Hello, and this is Scarlet's Mommy, and I'm going to read the book called Pooh and the Honey Tree, Winnie the Pooh. Scarlet loves Pooh Bear. See the Pooh Bear globe? Winnie the Pooh was sitting by the stove in his best armchair. When his Pooh clock began to chime, Pooh-coo, Pooh-coo, it said. As soon as he heard it, Pooh knew it was time for something. And when his tummy began to growl, the little bear knew exactly what it was. It's time for something sweet, said Pooh. So off he went to the cupboard where he kept his honey jar. Oh, bother, said Pooh as he lifted the jar from the shelf. Empty again. Only the sticky pots left. Just then a bee flew in through the window and landed on Pooh's ear. Pooh listened thoughtfully to the buzzing little bee. The only reason for making a buzzing noise that I know of is because you're a bee, said Pooh. And the only reason for being a bee is to make honey. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. He concluded with a chuckle. <laughs> Pooh followed the bee out the door of his home and through the hundred-acre wood. And when he came to a honey tree, he began to climb it. As Pooh climbed the tree, he sang a little song to himself. It went something like this. When I'm rumbling in my tummy, it's time to get some honey. But I couldn't climb a tree if I could fly just like a bee. Pooh climbed a little higher and then higher still. He was just about to reach for the honey when the branch he was sitting on went crack. Oh, help, cried Pooh as he began to fall. If only I hadn't, you see, what I meant to do. But by this time, Pooh had already hit the ground with a thump. As Pooh brushed the prickles from his nose, he decided that he needed help in getting the honey, and his good friend, Christopher Robin, would be just the person to help him. So, Winnie the Pooh went to look for his friend. He found him outside his house in another part of the wood. Good morning, Christopher Robin, he said. Then he noticed a balloon tied to Christopher Robin's tricycle. It gave Pooh a wonderful idea. I wonder if you've got such a thing as a balloon about you, hinted the bear. What for? asked Christopher Robin. Pooh looked this way and that. When he was sure that nobody was listening, he whispered, Honey. How do you get honey with a balloon? asked the boy. I shall fly like a bee, replied Pooh, up to the honey tree. 